What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm discussing something really cool. We're talking about the brand new Gazelle the Mystical Beast and Burfamet support. Now this is an archetype I never thought we'd see support for but just like Konami did with Gate Guardian, I think they did an amazing job with this archetype and we're going to talk about it when we get into today's video but if you guys enjoy these kind of videos make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one. We upload five days a week here on the channel. You guys are going to get a little bit of everything. Shorts, deck profile, combo videos, dual replays, discussions like this one, you guys will see a little bit of everything. So make sure you guys like the video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, and with that, let's get right into today's discussion. So this is actually really cool. A bunch of new cards from Duelist Nexus were just announced and they kind of were showing it off. And I just want to talk about it because I think this concept is really cool. It's one of those things that reminded me of what they did with Gate Guardian. But I think these cards are actually a little bit better, which is kind of crazy. And it supports one of Yugi's most iconic cards, which is like Burfamet and Gazelle, the Mythical Beast, which is absolutely insane because I always thought those were cards were cool, but they were always just like one of cards that would show up here and there in the anime. But now they have an archetype and these cards are all really cool and top of that they introduced a new type into Yu-Gi-Oh which I'll get into in a little bit later but it's kind of cool because we haven't had a new type since Cybers was announced because Cybers came out in Brains and then I don't think we've had anything new since Cybers so having the brand new Illusionist is really cool that's what it's called but let's get into these cards so Chimera the Mythical Beast, Burfamet as well as uh, Gazelle is, is absolutely insane because I thought these cards were always so cool growing up but of course they were just not great cards however now a lot of these new cards that they just announced were absolutely insane so the first one that I'm going to be talking about right here is Gazelle, the King of Mythical Claws, which is essentially the same card. But this card is absolutely insane because it's a straddles for the deck. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can add a level 5 Fiend Monster or a Chimera Fusion from your deck to your hand, which is absolutely insane. The deck has a straddles now. Like I, Decks that get straddles like this are, are really cool because this is essentially what helps them essentially synergize with all the cards. The Fusion card, if you have the Fusion card, you can then search the monster. If you have the monster, you can then search the Fusion card, which is absolutely insane. And then the other fact is if this card is sent to the graveyard as a material for infusion summon you can add an illusionist monster from your deck to your hand so again illusionist is the brand new type of monster it's not like fiend because you guys can see like here the first effect searches a fiend um and then the second effect will search an illusionist which is really nice now the second card here is the burfamet retrain so it's baphomet the great wings or burfamet the great wings i should say and this card's level five fiend monster keep in mind their stats here and stuff don't really matter i'm pretty sure they're just identical to the og stats but the effects here are what's really cool right so if this card is normal or special summoned you can add a level four beast monster and or a chimera fusion from your deck to your hand so the really cool thing about this is that it actually searches your gazelle so this searches your burfamet and then your burfamet searches with your gazelle which is really nice the really cool thing that i noticed here as well is that this says you can add a level four beast and or a chimera fusion this one just says or so does that mean this one if it's special summoned you can search both that would be kind of insane because there is a way to easily special summon this in the deck just because it's level five doesn't mean that you can't special summon it there's ways that the deck will obviously be able to do it and i'll talk about that soon when we get into it but just the fact that it searches both is kind of crazy here right so that's the burfamet over here the retrain is really cool then you have cards like this the cornfield uh coder cornfield coder i think that's the name and it's an illusionist monster so keep that in mind this is a card that you can now search off of your gazelle which is really nice when it's used for a fusion summon and this card is really cool because you can discard it from your hand and then add a monster that mentions chimera fusion from your deck to your hand except itself so you can now activate this card let's say you don't open your gazelle you can activate this card from your hand discard it search your gazelle and then now you can normal summon your gazelle search a fusion and then got your combo started right so it's really cool because it kind of gets your combo started it gets you deeper into your deck which is nice and then it has the effect where monsters cannot be destroyed by battle involving this card that's not a really important effect for this card specifically this effect will come up again later and you guys will see it but for this card it's not that important and then the last effect says when your opponent activates a card or effect that targets a card you control and you control chimera the flying mythical beast you can banish this card from your field or graveyard and negate that effect so it's really cool because this essentially gives you an omni negate like it literally gives you an omni negate for cards that target cards you control which is really nice and uh, you guys are going to see it's not super hard to get chimera the flying mythical beast on the field because all the new fusion monsters count as chimera which is really nice here right so uh this card is pretty cool the fact that it searches your gazelle and it gives you a negate which is really nice in the graveyard then the other illusionist monsters was mirror sword knight or mirror swordsman i forget what the original guy is it little swordsman or i swear this card was a joey card i don't think it was a yugi card i think it was a joey card I... little swordsman something swordsman mystic swordsman is that the name I don't remember. But anyways, this card is also really cool. It's an illusionist monster. It's level 4, 1900, which is kind of nice for a level 4 monster. You can quick effect tribute this card and special summon a monster that mentions Chimera Fusion from your deck except Mirror Sword Knight. So this is really cool because 
this is how you're going to be able to summon your level 5 Burfamet over here. So if you're able to like normal summon this, activate its effect, tribute it, summon your Burfamet, Burfamet will then be able to add you a level 4 beast, which is your Gazelle, plus your Chimera Fusion, and then you'll get access to a Fusion Summon right away there. So this card is really cool in that sense because it's going to be able to get to your Burfamet as soon as possible. And then it has the same effect, most cannot be destroyed by battle involving this card. I wonder... If that's something, they're just going to give to illusionist monsters. I wonder if that's a thing. Could you imagine, like, I, this is the first of the illusionist monsters, but if they do illusionist moving forward in the future, uh, this would be really cool if this, like, carries over to all the illusionist effects, because... There's two illusionist monsters, both of them have the same effect, so it's pretty interesting. Now, when your opponent activates a monster effect on the field and you control Chimera, the Flying Mythical Beast, you can banish this card from your field to the graveyard, negate that effect. So this card negates monster effects. The first card over here negates uh, cards that target. This negates monster effects. So it's really cool, just the fact that you can use these to get to your birth from it, to get to your gazelle, and then they're gonna act as more than just that. They're gonna act as negates for you, which is really nice. Now, I'm gonna talk about Chimera, the Illusion Magical Beast in a second here. I just wanna talk about uh, Chimera, the Phantom beast king first because this is pretty much going to climb into this so let's get into this one first so level 6 2100 1800 i think these are the same stats as gazelle um the, the the flying mythical beast one you know the fusion i think it's the same stats you can only use the second and third effect of this card's name once per turn it uses a beast monster and a fiend monster so it's generic obviously which is kind of nice as well this card's name becomes chimera the flying mythical beast while on the field or the graveyard but still treated as a phantom beast card so phantom beast i guess is the newest name for this archetype i wonder if they're going to give more cards to this archetype that are phantom beasts right but i think that's interesting it does count as chimera so that's really nice so, so this is what i was talking about earlier where all these effects that say you have to control a chimera this is going to count as a chimera for you so is this guy over here this guy is like the bigger boss body of the deck but he also counts as a chimera so the effects in the graveyard are always going to be live which is really nice and then uh if this card is fusion summon you can activate this effect during the end phase of this turn send a random card from your opponent's hand to the graveyard so this is really nice because if you're setting up a combo where you're going first you're pretty much hand looping your opponent for one just off of this card which is really really powerful and then during your opponent's turn quick effect you can banish this card from your graveyard target a beast fiend or illusionless monster in your graveyard and special summon it so it's really nice because it gives you extra body on the field which is really nice because it synergizes pretty well with this card over here but yeah so you can banish this card from the graveyard summon a monster it becomes really nice in that sense so these effects are all pretty generic nothing too crazy but it's really nice because this is how you're going to be getting into this guy over here and so this card needs a chimera the flying mythical beast so most of the time you're going to be using your phantom beast king over here and then it needs an illusionist monster so whether you use mirror sword knight or you use your cornfield coder that's pretty nice as well this card's name becomes chimera the flying mythical beast and is treated as a phantom beast card so same effect as the first one here and then this card says you can make attacks on monsters during each battle phase up to the number of fusion monsters used for a summon so keep in mind for its fusion summon it can use one plus illusionist monsters so if you use two illusionist monsters then that's three monsters total it can make three attacks right so this card is pretty nice it is 3100 with 2800 defense but 3100 being able to attack multiple times is very powerful and then again this is an illusionist monster this card over here is a beast but this is an illusionist monster and it has the same effect where monsters cannot be destroyed by battle involving this card. So again, I wonder if that's just a thing that's going to be given to all illusionist monsters moving forward, that would be pretty cool. But this effect actually matters with this card because it synergizes with the last effect that I'm going to show you guys. And the last effect is that if this card battles an opponent's monster, at the end of the damage step, you can change that opponent's monster's attack to zero, also negate its effects. So why is that really good? Because if you attack an opponent's monster and then it doesn't get destroyed, right? It doesn't get destroyed. You make it zero. And then now you have a second attack at a minimum that you can attack a zero attack monster and do 3,100 points of damage. Now, if you make this card using three materials, the first attack is just going to go through like normal. You make it zero attack and then you attack twice with 3,100. That's 6,200 points of damage just right there. So this card is really nice because it does help you kind of OTK and do a lot of big damage, which is really nice. And these effects do synergize pretty well with each other. And then it counts as a chimera as well. So that these are live which is also really nice so the really cool thing i like about all this is it synergizes extremely well like from what i'm seeing it synergizes extremely well now i'm not saying this is going to be meta or anything but it definitely synergizes and it definitely has a really good way of bringing the gazelle and the burfamet stuff together which is really really cool and then lastly here we have the chimera fusion this card is absolutely insane so during the main phase First of all, it's a quick play. Uh, before I get into the effect, it's a quick play spell card, which is really nice. So during the main phase, you can fusion summon a fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as fusion materials, including a beast or a fiend monster. So essentially, you're going to be getting to this because your gazelle is going to get to your fusion or your birth is going to your fusion plus the other monster. And then you're going to be able to fusion summon. That's kind of how this deck works, which uh, is kind of obvious, but it's kind of cool, right? So you're going to be able to fusion summon. Of course, it's a polymerization for the deck. During your main phase, if this card is in your graveyard and you have a chimera, the flying mythical beast on your field or graveyard, you can activate one of these effects. One, add this card to your hand. 
Two, banish this card, and if you do special summon a gazelle, the king of mythical beasts, and one birth from it from your deck and or graveyard. So it's really nice because it kind of gives you the OG guys, but I don't think you're going to be playing the OG guys for the deck anyways. I think that's going to ruin some of the consistency. The main thing you're going to be wanting to do is adding this card back to your hand, because although it is a once per turn, it is a quick play. So your combo, let's say, just at a basic level, will be using the fusion to make your chimera, the phantom beast king, and then you're going to activate this effect to add it back to your hand, and then you're going to set it. So then on your opponent's turn, what you can do is you can use the chimera the phantom beast king as well as any illusionist monster to make chimera the illusion magical beast right so at that point now you're having a way to make this card on your opponent's turn on top of that even if you don't want to make it on your opponent's turn you don't have to you can just hold this card in your hand and then on your next turn be able to make something like this so then you can try to push for a lot of damage right so it's, it's really cool in that sense i really like that because it's the fact that this card adds you back to your hand it's a quick play so it gives you different options that you guys can do in the battle phase even if you're going second or you know turns two turn three whatever and and you're attacking with your monsters you can attack with your chimera you can attack with something else then you can go with this on the battle phase make your big fusion attack more times that's really powerful as well so this card is absolutely insane and it's really nice because i mean it does give you the option to summon two monsters even though they are kind of bricks um it can be good because I guess you, if you want to make link plays, I guess. I don't know. I, the, I just see it as like, this is a really cool card that adds itself back to the hand. In general, like I just want to go back to this like topic where they're retraining a lot of these older cards. They did it with the Gate Guardian. They're doing it now with the Gazelle and the Burr from it. And I think these are this is a really cool way to retrain a lot of old Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I'm going to be honest with you. Like this is a really like, not just it, not that it's just cool, but it actually does like synergize really well. It, it makes a lot of sense. The cards all make sense and they all fit together, which is really nice. And this is something that Konami has been doing a really, really good job of recently with gate guardian and now this i'm excited for what they're going to do in the future because there's a lot of random cards that your favorite characters like yugi joey kaiba played that didn't really get archetypes I, you can imagine kaiser kaiser glider getting an archetype right or or um uh, what's the other guy it's a, it's a level four monster kaiser's not kaiser seahorse kaiser horseman I, that's not definitely not the name but can you imagine that getting an archetype as well that, i just find that kind of stuff really cool right just these random small cards getting these archetypes and then hopefully hopefully we get retrains a lot of the elemental hero monsters. Could you imagine an effect elemental hero Avion or an effect version of elemental hero Burst and Tricks? Like that could be pretty cool. Can we get that in the future? Who knows? But uh, I think this is really cool. And I think Konami is doing an insane job with these brand new archetypes. So thank you guys all for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. I know I discussed in depth a little bit more what each of the cards do and kind of talked about the theory of how to play the deck. But I think this deck is really cool and it does give me that gate guardian effect where the cards actually really synergize pretty well with each other and they can do some pretty cool things. Now again, this deck is not going to be a meta deck. It's not going to be a tier one deck. However, it is very fun and it's very cool and nostalgic, which I really like. And they found a way to make Gazelle a birth of it, an actual archetype, which I think is really creative on Konami's end. Now, if you guys enjoyed these videos make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one we upload five days a week on the channel we do deck profiles common videos dual replays discussions like this one shorts you guys are going to see a little bit of everything so i hope you guys enjoy thank you guys all for watching and with that Spanko signing out peace